Therefore, my friends, repent and believe in the gospel. Remember, man, you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. With these two powerful expressions, the mother church ushered us into the season of Lent. And this is me checking how you are doing. How has the journey been for you? We are left with about three weeks now to get to the climax of this journey. How has it been for you? And Ash Wednesday, the church reminded us of our nothingness without God, that indeed we are dust. We are what we are because of whom God is. And on the first Sunday of Lent, the church reminds us what threatens our worth in God. The devil and his temptations. And we see that the temptation of Jesus was contrasted with the temptation of Adam and Eve. While Jesus came out victorious, Adam and Eve failed. Jesus was victorious because he understood his worth. And he never allowed the enemy to define it for him. And in the victory of Jesus, we then have joy that if he has conquered, we too will also conquer. In the second Sunday of Lent, the church puts before us the faith of Abraham. The faith, the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, is the only weapon we need to please God. Without faith, we can never conquer. So faith becomes the greatest gift of God that gives us that enablement to overcome sin. And in the gospel of that Sunday, we saw the transfiguration of Jesus giving us the religious experience that God is forever with us. Just this last Sunday, we read the beautiful story of the woman of Samaria the Samaritan woman, where Jesus proclaimed himself as the living water that wells unto eternal life. It is Jesus who walks into our situation and makes our lives better. These are wonderful themes building us gradually into that wonderful celebration. The Sunday of today and the Sunday years to come, you know, also have wonderful readings. I want to encourage you, please, no matter where you are at the level of this journey, whether you're already fired up waiting for Easter or you are still dragging your feet or you are still confused, wake up. There is still time. Your 40 days can begin today. And I hope and pray that this week that is coming, these celebrations that are yet to come will put us on the right perspective to celebrate Easter in the right spirit. Thank you and may God bless you. Wishing all of you a happy Easter ahead.